So when you have misfires, the first thing that you always look to is the uh, ignition coil and the spark plug. So without having to spend any money or any of this customer's money, I took a little bit of time and did some diagnosing. So the first thing I did was, because I know that these two cylinders are the ones that are misfiring, I moved the ignition coil um, from this cylinder to this cylinder and the ignition coil from the two to the four. And just to see, that didn't take any time. And I found that the cylinders two and three were still misfiring. Now what that does is it isolates the cylinders. So since the since the uh, the parts that I thought were bad are over here now, then this cylinder should misfire and this cylinder should misfire. But since these two cylinders are still misfiring, that's telling me that the parts that I moved were still good. So pretty much all of our ignition coils are good. Otherwise, these two would be misfiring. The second thing that I do is I would um, start to change the spark plugs. Um, because this is a four cylinder, it's real easy to do. I do that. If this was like an eight cylinder or something, um, you know, with the spark plugs in the back heart to get to where you got to move, um, you know, um, intakes, then I probably wouldn't have to go through all that. But since it's so easy to do, so I took the spark plugs out of the two, these two cylinders and did the same as that thing. I put the two, put them over here, and the, the one from the two, I put, I mean, the one from the three, I put at the four. And I started the vehicle, read the codes again, and still, it was these two cylinders that was misfiring. So basically, that told me that um, our spark plugs were also good. So the next thing I went to, because this fuel rail is so easy to move, I did the same exact thing. I moved the uh, fuel injector number two to the number one and the number three to the number four. And reset the code, started the engine, same thing. I was still getting cylinder two and three misfire. Now, usually when I have uh, multiple cylinder misfire, it's very, very rare for it to be a, um, a compression problem. It's, it's very, very rare in any vehicle for you to have more than one cylinder's loose compression at the same time. Um, usually, if you lose compression, it's for one cylinder. So the fact that we have two cylinders misfiring is telling me that it's not a compression problem. But I did the compression test anyways because it's so easy. And I got good compression out of these two cylinders. On most cars, you can point to a um, CPU relearn, like an ECU relearn, PCM relearn, something like that. But since I already know from doing research on this vehicle, when you have, when, when I've seen other people have those two cylinders, the two and the three misfiring and the P0300, it always um, seemed to be um, just a relearn process for the crank position sensor.